France could be about to slam the brakes on the relationship with the UK as this row over fishing rights is pretty much imploding. Last week, the UK refused the majority of licenses that came from French smaller fishing vessels to fish in its water. It only approved 12 out of 47. And as a result of that, Paris is furious. It's now saying that bilateral agreements that cover everything from security, border control, to trade and energy are now under threat because Paris says that London simply cannot keep its commitments under the Brexit deal. Britain does not respect its own signature. Month after month, the UK presents new conditions and delays giving definitive licenses. This cannot be tolerated. We know the UK is facing this unprecedented energy crisis, just like pretty much all of the countries across continental Europe. And it could be about to get even worse because France has said that it could, in the next few days, decide to turn off electricity supplies to the UK. Well, how significant is that? Pretty darn significant. According to UK government's own papers in July of this year, France supplies almost half of the energy for electricity for the UK. So this really could see the lights being turned out. The UK depends on our energy exports. They think they can live alone while also beating up on Europe. And given that it doesn't work, they engage in aggressive one-upmanship. We've negotiated calmly and nicely for nine months now. That's enough. And to add to this pretty much perfect storm are threats that are coming directly from the French fishermen themselves. Now, we know that Boris Johnson has already warned the UK that there could be supply issues in the lead up to Christmas. That's with energy, that's with petrol, that's also with products in stores. And now French fishermen are saying, do you know what? If you do not uh, approve our fishing licenses, we are going to block the ports. We'll make sure that there'll be no imports and no exports between Europe and the UK, which really could add to Boris Johnson's woes. And those are threats that the UK should also take pretty seriously, given that we know that the French, one, they like to protest, and and two, there have already been tense standoffs in the last year over this issue, over fishing licenses. Now, the UK, for its part, says, look, we've done nothing wrong. In fact, we're keeping to our commitments and we're keeping to the agreement over fishing licenses. We have granted 98 per cent of the license applications from EU boats to fish in our waters. So we do not accept that we are not abiding by trade and cooperation agreement. We have been extremely generous, and the French focusing in on a small category of boats and claiming we have behaved unreasonably, I think is not really a fair reflection of the efforts we have made. France, as well as pulling out the big guns with those threats over energy and bilateral trades, has also asked for the European Commission to take a much tougher stance when it comes to the UK over this and other issues. The EU Commission, though, isn't sort of really wanting to get into the murky waters over this particular spat. It's saying what it's going to do is to ask the UK, can it explain its methodology and it will sort of go from there or limp from there. The reality is, though, in this pro-Brexit world, as the issues surrounding that are beginning to bite, there is a real threat coming from France at the moment. And it does seem as if Boris Johnson has some really tough decisions to make. He is essentially caught between the devil and the deep blue sea.